My name is Thomas Fry. I work as a futurist and my job is to help expand people's thinking about what the future holds. And one of the, the topics that I've been spending a lot of time thinking about is the future of education. And the, the whole idea of as people get their jobs automated out of existence, and there's lots of people that are ending up on the streets because their jobs are going away. How do we re-engage these people? How do we give them the skills that they're going to need uh, for the future? And so with that, I would like to introduce this whole topic of micro colleges. Uh, by 2030, the average worker will have to reboot their skills six times. So micro colleges are an immersive form of education done in a short period of time. So it's no longer possible to predict the, the educational needs of business four to five years in advance. Micro colleges are a responsive form of education, a responsive framework for creating this new talent. Uh, at the Da Vinci Institute, we have the Da Vinci coders. Currently, we're teaching Ruby on Rails as a programming language, and it's a 13-week course. We are scaling up to be teaching several other classes here in the near future. We're, we're scaling up to be teaching uh, game design. We're, we're looking at design for 3D printing. There are several other ones. We're teaching other languages, front-end and back-end programming. And in the end, you get a certificate. The credentialing part is interesting because most of the, the, the coding companies don't really care whether or not you have a degree. Uh, they just care whether or not you can do the job. So micro colleges, the way we're looking at this, can be created in all kinds of different areas, whether it's designing parts for 3D printers or uh, drug, dog breeding universities or crowdfunding certificate programs, drone pilots, uh, becoming a brewmaster. All of these things have interesting potential for a micro college. Uh, intense training in a short period of time. I talk about by 2030 that half of all the traditional colleges are going to disappear and we're seeing lots of the telltale signs of this happening already. Uh, a few months back I was in Istanbul and I gave a talk on teacherless education in one of the TEDx talks I did. Afterwards, one of the executives from Google came up to me and he said, you know that teacherless education, we're really interested in that at Google because we want to educate Africa and teachers don't want to go to Africa. Now this is a very revealing moment for me because no, teachers don't want to go to Africa. They don't want to go to you know, Afghanistan. They don't want to go to Pakistan. There's lots of countries around the world that teachers don't want to go to. In fact, we're, we have an international shortage, 18 million teachers right now. A total of 23% of all children growing up don't attend any school at all. And if we continue to have to insert a teacher between us and everything we have to learn in the future, we can't possibly stay competitive with all the demands that are, that are coming our way. So when Christian Clayton, Clayton Christensen talks about 2019, half of all K through 12 classes are gonna be taught online. What he's referring to is courses that are self-taught courses where where students can actually work at their own pace on topics that they're interested in. And the other half of the classes are going to be interactive social classes with, uh, in a school setting. So any of you that want more information, just talk to people behind the front desk. And I thank you very much for uh, listening to me tonight here. Thank you. Thank you.